come in here begging you, you need to just trust me. Look, I know I messed up. I was trying to protect you. There is stuff you don't know. Like what? Like get in the car, I'll explain on the way home. They're not the sort you want to be getting involved with. Yeah, look, I, I don't know. You've got no idea who these people are. And whose fault is that? I'm telling you, Nate, they are bad news. We've all done stuff we're ashamed of. You haven't killed anyone, though, have you? Belle, do you want to go through it in the back, babe? Take the kids, put the TV on. <gasps> oh, come on, you two, let's go. <laughs> You haven't been locked up. I spent a night in the cells on my 18th for being drunk and disorderly. I'm not talking about a police cell. I'm talking about being committed. His dad, his real dad, that Zach bloke, he's been sectioned. And? All right, we've had some hard times as a family, yeah? Who hasn't? You don't have to explain yourself. I'm not having her coming in here, slating my nearest and dearest. And who the hell are you to judge us? I'm his mother. That's who I am. I've got every right to protect him whatever way I see fit. You need to come home with me. Get your stuff. Let's go. I've got a pretty good idea. Look, you can say what you want about me and him, because we've had way worse. But don't start bringing Belle into it. So she didn't kill anyone then? There was an awful accident, OK? And her best mate died, and she has been going through hell dealing with that guilt. So don't dare try and make it out to be something it isn't. That is not the way you painted it to me. I just told her some of the facts. Filled her in on the family history. I thought she had a right to know. Oh, I bet you did. None of us are perfect. But we're struggling on like everybody else. And you know what? We're still here. We're still going strong, and we are still loving one another as a family. And Nate is part of that family now, like it or lump it. You made out that they were all axe-wielding maniacs. You just heard what you wanted to hear. It seems to me like you're blaming everyone else but yourself for the mess your life is in. If anyone needs help, love, I'd say it was you. You're ruining your life because of him. Look what you're doing to yourself. Passing out in ditches, getting dragged to hospital. Are you really that desperate? Okay. Just go on, Moira. I don't want you around any of this. Yeah, well, I'm a big boy now and I can make my own decisions. And I'm staying. 